Nimble Streamer supports NDI processing to get real-time input and produce multiple output formats. They include NDI itself, SRT, RTMP and much more. Apple Low Latency HLS is one of the protocols that can be produced from NDI. This video will show how to convert incoming NDI into low latency HLS. We will use a pre-installed instance of Nimble Streamer with its latest version. NDI transformation requires Nimble Live Transcoder. It has already been installed and its license has been registered as well. We go to live stream settings for that server instance in order to set up low latency HLS output. Let's create a new application which will be used specifically for that. We choose a fragmented MP4 container and enable LL HLS. Chunk duration is 6 seconds. We recommend keeping parts duration as 1000 milliseconds. Low latency HLS requires SSL and HTTP2 for its delivery. There's a separate video about LLHLS setup which shows that in more detail. Check description to get a link. We have already set them up along with uh, enabling access logs which we'll need later. Here you can see a nimble configuration file with proper settings. Let's get back to NDI setup. VMix will provide us with a clock so we could measure the latency. Nimble has a tool that allows checking the availability of NDI sources. And our clock source is there. Let's copy its name for further usage. Now we create a new transcoder scenario which will transform NDI input into proper output. Source stream will have an NDI source name that we've copied previously. The encoders will have the same app name as we've previously defined in server settings. The video encoder will have HT64 as a codec. The keyframe alignment is set to interval. And with a 6 second chunk, we recommend using 2000 milliseconds as keyframe interval. The audio encoder needs to be AAC. Once the scenario is saved and synchronized, it will start processing the incoming NDI stream. Let's check the output via live streams menu. The web panel will take a few seconds to show the status of an outgoing stream. Let's copy the output stream URL and open it in our Safari browser for Mac to start the playback. You can see the delay between the NDI source and low latency HLS around 4 seconds. If we open access logs for Nimble, we'll see it serves the HLS stream parts via HTTP2. And if we open the network log in the browser, we'll see those parts downloaded. This means Nimble Streamer is serving low latency HLS. Let's open the stream on the iPhone as well.
Here you can see a combined view of our NDI source, the browser playback and the iPhone playback. The latency is around 4 seconds on both devices. This video description has links to all related articles and videos where you'll get more information about NDI and LLHLS setup.